Oh, I didn't see you there. They might be discontinuing GPUs. You better s stay tuned or something. <coughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> That's right, it's time to hit that slide whistle, boys, because they might be discontinuing some very popular GPUs. I know I'm getting upset already, but what am I talking about? Well, this information actually comes from a Hardware Times article. We'll take a look at it and then we'll talk about it because yes, this could be some very big news if you're in the market for a new or even used GPU, as this will have some serious consequences on the price of a graphics card that you might be trying to pick up. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it. So according to the Hardware Times article, NVIDIA RTX 3090, 3090 Ti and 3080 discontinued by retailers as the RTX 4070 Ti goes on sale. <laughs> okay, so let's take let's take a further look at the article. So according to Hardware Times, quote, retailers have started decommissioning the last gen Ampere cards starting from the top of the stack. The GeForce RTX 3090 and 3090 Ti have already been replaced by the 4090 and 4080 across every major online store. The RTX 3080 is on the same path. The 4070 Ti release will further accelerate the process. We have had a look at some popular retailers and got the following data. And we can go ahead and see here that yes, there's a lot of cards that appear to be discontinued. It kind of looks like this maybe is the Micro Center website they're looking at here right now. And they're actually listing Best Buy Micro Center and B&H Photo have straight up discontinued the RTX 3090, which to be honest with you guys, is probably a good thing because the 3090 was just a silly card. The 3090 Ti is just a better 3090. It has no memory on the back, has no issues with that. So in the future, you shouldn't have any issues with your 3090 Ti is dying like I do think could potentially happen with the 3090. So I think that was inevitable, but I am a little bit surprised to see the 3080 and other cards being potentially discontinued as well. As you can see here, there's a lot of evidence suggesting that yes, it is going to be a bad time for buyers who want new RTX 30 series cards above the RTX 3080. In fact, Newegg has apparently been pricing the 3090 around $1,700 to $1,800 if you buy that Lord help you. But as you can see here, yes, it looks like these cards are getting discontinued and marked way up. So was Jay right? Should you have bought an RTX 3090 Ti for $1,800 or $1,600 or whatever ridiculous price it was? Absolutely not. That is ridiculous. Are the prices of new RTX 30 series cards going up? Yes, on the high end, that might be true. However, there's a ton of other options. And I think we're forgetting that in that Jay's Two Cents original video, I think he was trying to say that he thought the RTX 40 series was going to be delayed. Clearly, it's not delayed. Now, the prices aren't as good as we thought they were going to be, but they are available. So you do have those as an option. I mean, the 4070 Ti at $800, it's not a good deal. But my God, is it a better deal than $1,800 for a 3090? Please don't buy that. But we also have to consider the used market because while it might be true that getting a new RTX 30 series card could start to get very, very expensive, we also have to consider that if you take a look on eBay, they're actually going for what I would would consider to be all-time lows. In fact, let's take a look right now. So I'm going to pull up eBay for you guys here, and we're going to sort by, of course, price plus shipping lowest first and buy it now. And when we actually scroll down to the first working GPU, what you'll find is, well, wow, looky here. We have an RTX 3090 pre-owned Asus Tough for $730. So why on God's green earth you'd spend an extra $1,000? I have no idea. Now, I will say the 3090, maybe not the best example because like I just mentioned, it is one of those cards I'm a little bit worried that the memory on the back if it was mined on could potentially actually go kaput at some point in the future. However, uh, there's tons of other options on the used market as well. And, you know, if it is a transferable warranty that's still active on the card, then I could see picking it up. Yeah, for 730 bucks, hey, you're getting a card that's about as fast as the RTX 4070 Ti and you're also getting way more memory. So it's not necessarily necessarily too bad of a deal. Now the 4070 Ti also gets DLSS 3 and the 3090 doesn't, so there's definitely something to be said about that, but there's better options than the 3090, even though it's $1,000 cheaper on eBay and the cheapest it's ever been. In fact, taking a look at the RTX 3080, what we can see here is buy it now, price plus shipping. We scroll down to the first one that's actually working. Wow, look at that 
$500 pre-owned plus $22 shipping. You can get yourself an RTX 3080 10GB that should be in good working condition. In fact, a colorful AIB model. So not too bad there, guys. And I'd say that, yeah, if you bought a 3090 Ti, which let's be fair, it's probably somewhere around 20% faster than the RTX 3080. If you bought that for $1,600 a while ago, well, you did get the chance to enjoy it for a long time. You also spent $1,100 more than an RTX 3080 that you could buy now for $500, which is not that much slower. So I have been seeing people say that like Jay's Two Cents was right when he made that video about buy it now, buy the RTX 3090 Ti for $1,600. I believe that was roughly the price it was going for at the time because he thought prices would shoot way back up and there would be no RTX 40 series. Clearly, there's the RTX 40 series available. The RTX 30 series used has continued to drop. However, I do believe that he was at least somewhat right when it came to the new prices of the RTX 30 series cards because eventually it looks like they did actually start climbing climbing back up. So was he right? I'd say ultimately no, he was off on a lot of stuff. However, again, yes, the price of new RTX 30 series cards is going up. So if you're in the market for a new RTX 3080, it looks like they might start to discontinue them, making them way, way more expensive. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.